So the high step, I love high stepping because as a passer, I like to always make sure I'm moving and I'm never going to be in my opponent's guard just hanging out. If my opponent's guard uh, is restricting my movement, I like to use the high step to get out of aforementioned opponent's guard. So for instance, a couple examples, let's say uh, Robbie here is starting to uh, try to get like a De La Hiva. Instead of me trying to really fight and go through with it, I can just pick my foot up and come back out and now I can start attacking at a different angle with various styles of passes. The point of the high step is to not be controlled, maintain good posture, maintain good distance so you can keep firing off a lot of attacks without worrying about being slowed down. Like another guard then, let's say Robbie goes single leg X. Instead of having to work this kind of stuff and like trying to like hop over, what if I had to pick my foot out? and I just step right back to neutral, allowing me to get back to my flurry of passes, right? Another one that could we could high step out of, just going to uh, start inverting. Anytime someone inverts, instead, instead of someone going here and falling to the hip and trying to do all this, which you see all the time, start inverting. What if I just pick my foot up and I just hop it out? Look at this amazing angle that I have now. All I really need to do now is make sure that I control Robbie's legs as he looks for his guard again, look for your guard, and keeping my head low and getting my north south. And just because of the high step, I was able to get a really, really good angle. So I guess you could say the reason behind high stepping is to find really good angles without wasting too much energy and it makes your opponent panic a lot. And, and when panic comes, that's when they can start turning in for single legs. Like let's say I'm in a, a nice high step, Robbie's in his guard and I high step to his knee on belly. He realizes I got a check on him. Instead of coming up for a guard, he comes up for a single leg. Right when that happens, I just so happen to have a nice headlock series that I can fire off submission. So if you layer this style of movement with uh, front headlock submissions, anacondas, darces, guillotines, you're only setting yourself up for success because anytime I do a successful high step, let's say Robbie seems like he's a bit beaten and he starts coming off our single leg, right to the guillotine. So it's a great way to corner your opponents into your game. So if you, like, if you want to learn how to high step, make sure you also learn how to start hunting the head. Also, you're gonna to have to work, you're gonna to have to realize with high stepping. Let's say Robbie's in a nice De La Hiva, and I high step and I step all the way to north south. I start putting pressure. He smells this from a mile away. Starts coming up for a single leg. Now we gotta start working our single leg counters. So from here we can keep high stepping. We can start stepping over, going for our back attacks, etc. We can really make a lot of scrambles happen. And let's say that we're going with an opponent who's not very. I'm not a very good wrestler or anything like that. So if you can make them come up on singles, the ability to finish them will be a lot easier than most.